Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting again a fall inspired painting, a cup of tea, some sunflowers and also a book because you know when fall comes and winter I do love to snuggle up with a good book, cup of tea and you know that is just a perfect perfect fall autumn or winter scenery for me so I decided to do it you could have seen and now the sketch I've drew it quite dark so you can see it and also this sketch is available for download from my website so there is a link down in the description box go ahead check it out download it for yourself and trace it and let's get started Today again I'm using those colors I handmade myself so I'm sorry no names I know a couple of you have been asking me to tell us what's what colors are those what what names of the colors but there are actually no names so I'm sorry I'm just calling them blue bluish or reddish or or yellowish so I'm sorry no colors but I guess that is somewhat liberating for you also because you don't have to think about the colors I'm using and the names of those colors just use palette you have and the colors you have it doesn't matter if th those are an expensive artist grade watercolors or are they just school grade or student grade it doesn't matter just use whatever you have and if you want this cup and this saucer to be I guess yellow that is fine you can do it yellow if you want it to be red do it red if you wanted to make it blue as I did do it blue so these colors are quite earthy and I would say this is something very very light blue even grayish color that I decided to paint this paint the saucer and as you can see I'm just painting it a little bit darker on one side and a little bit lighter on the other side because uh, the shadow is going from the right upper corner so that is where the shadow is on the left side of the cup when finished with that saucer I'm moving on to painting the tea and I started with this yellow color because you know I wanted to make it the first layer light and that is also the color that will be visible on the part that is lighted and on the part that is in shadow this part I'm using a little bit darker color again brown maybe something like burnt sienna I guess this is the closest color to blue burnt sienna and I'm painting in the right side where the shadows are and also just nearest to the cup that will be visible on that left side I guess I'm using a reference photo for this I've merged a couple of reference photos so not particular one but just a couple of them but I am thinking about the shadows and the highlights so this right side is a darker and left side is lighter and also think about the shadows on my plate that I painted so I'm following that shadow to paint in the shadow in the T and also moving on to painting the sunflowers those those are I think those smaller one I don't know how to say that sunflowers doesn't matter I did have a couple of them in a ways so I was inspired to paint them also and first I painted the center of the sunflower with yellow added a little bit of darker color darker brown ochre maybe something like that and then the darkest color nearest to the petals and also in the center of the flower just leaving that one part of the flower lighter and white for some shadows also adding even more darker brown and even some black to the lowest part, part nearest to the to the petals. And while that is drying, I'm moving on to painting the book. And again, I'm starting. I think I've mixed here some yellow and some some rose color you can see it on my palette that middle color that is the one I'm using to paint in the in the book and I'm using a little bit larger brush and just stopping in the color I don't want it to be one even wash I do want it to be slightly uneven because that is an old vintage book it it has this yellow tint to it from the time so it it the the 
how can you how, how do you say pages yes pages are not really not really same and not really the color they were at first they they did yellow and got this color over time so i'm painting them quite differently and adding on the borders even a little bit darker color this is some brownish color and also in the center and then again adding that darkest brown darker brown color to the to the edges of the the pages the edges of the book and also to the center and I'm painting this in quite looser style. I don't want to go back too much to paint in. I do want to do just one layer, adding as much as color as I want. And I'm trying to paint everything in one layer, not to go back to anything, even though I will go back to some parts of the, of the painting I already painted, but I'm trying to do it as much as I can in one layer. So I'm using quite saturated colors. Keep that in mind if you want to avoid uh, layering just use as much as you can saturated colors as less water as possible in your colors and more pigment as possible also those sunflowers i turn around the paper because it's easier for me to paint the petals like that because they are sharp they have this sharper edge on on the bottom so it's easier for me to paint them like that i started with yellow color and then added a little bit darker brown color on the part nearest to the center and i guess that is just basically it i will add a little bit more but that is basically it and then add a couple of leaves in green after i finish with that I was just missing something in that upper corner. I did not, I did actually add that in the sketch, but I was thinking to myself whether to add it or not. I just left it to be there. And when I finished the flowers and the cup and all the other composition, I was missing something here in that upper left corner. So I decided to add that looser flower. I would say this is some again maybe some full uh, full flowers painted in the same colors and i started with the lightest color and going to the dark to the darkest and i did want to paint in the center of the flower darkest and the sides of the flower a little bit lighter so there you can see a little bit lighter yellow rose and the center is the darkest with darker brown and again when finished with that now the the tea and the saucer that little plate are dry i'm painting the cup and well this one again just following that line where the shadows are and thinking about those shadows to add in the darker part there and the side of the cup that is not in the shadow is quite light and i'm leaving it white because inside it is white and as i said that right side is just a little bit darker i've added that color that i've used for the tea because that shadow is actually the reflection from the tea and again added a little bit more of the details to the handle and then moved on to again painting finishing off the finishing of flowers adding some stems and i'm painting them in green and also on top of it i will add just a little bit more brown just to add it just to add some texture to that and some diversity to those stems they were just looking too flat to me when they were green so i've added a little bit of that brown and also added a couple of smaller little branches on that flower in a left upper corner and again got back to my book just added also a couple of details the dark dark brown to the center of the book and also a couple of more details When finished with that, with those details, I was actually missing some leaves on my flowers. They are not, they are not on my sketch, but decided to add them at the end. 
nothing special, nothing particular, just tapped in some color in the shape of leaves, of sunflower leaves, and that is basically it. I won't be doing any more details. Also added some shadows to the handle with neutral black. This is actually just a black color. And that is basically it. And also some little bit more of the details to the cup, adding some shadows. You can see on that right side, that line just took it to another level, a level I think. It just made the impression that there is that upper part of the cup that it's not flat and just basically on the on the plate also on the saucer but there is just this upper part of the cup and then added with this large huge 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 brush I've added just a couple of topped ends and then a couple of sprinkles just to add some texture also to the background and when it all dried I took this is actually a marker distress marker and it is used for crafting I'm using it actually for crafting but this is perfectly for writing on a book and it's perfect also vintage color so I'm using that that brush you can use if you have brush uh, watercolor brushes brush pens you can use definitely here and I think this one is just a perfect color that matches all the that matches the entire painting so I've decided to use that and also I was missing some highlight on that little saucer so I took this white gel pen and added the border and then some again shadows with grayish color beneath my flowers and that cup plate and that is basically it with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching for all your support I hope you do like this one don't forget to well, download the sketch for yourself and I think this will be fun, quite simple and easy. Also a perfect th thing for maybe a gift for someone, quick gift. And if you do like it, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, well, subscribe to my channel, do that. That is good for you. You will learn a lot. I do believe you will. And if you want to go even step further, maybe consider joining my channel, press the join next to the subscribe button, listen to the offer and decide whether or not you want to join. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.